Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall and this is your full moon reading with spiritual guidance spanning from October 16th through the 29th, 2016. So this full moon is a full moon of changes and high activity in life. The moon is in the sign of Aries, which is a sign that is driven by leadership, high goals, or a mindset of determination and courage. At this time, you may be focused on goals, new beginnings, and bright new horizons, but now the path to completing those goals is coming into our focus, full of activity, lessons, and lots and lots of personal growth. Don't be surprised if the world might throw you some unexpected curveballs at this time, um, but of course, there is no need to worry about that as divine harmony is at work. And anything that comes to you is an opportunity for you to learn and to grow through this process. A message that I have heard from the angels is to trust in the pace at which things are manifesting in your life at this time. Trust in divine timing and be very present with any lessons or challenges that may show up for you. They're showing up for a reason, remember. Your outer world experiences are a mirror of your inner beliefs, your inner thoughts and feelings. So if you're experiencing something in life that is really causing you to dig deeper or to work on yourself a little bit more, then just listen to it, be patient with it, and even thank it for strengthening you and for all that it's giving you in your path. According to the angels, it will be highly supportive for you to focus on a lifestyle of balance between your ambitions and your emotions. In other words, though you may have the idea of what you want and know that you want it right now, be patient and trust in the way that things are working out. Listen to your emotions on the road to accomplishing your goals because your emotional transi transition, transformation, is an enormous foundational aspect of being able to manifest something new. You need to enter the vibration of what you want to manifest by getting there consciously. This can entail changes in your beliefs, in your feelings, changes in relationships, lifestyle, and overall state of mind. And remember, your emotions are your very best friends on this ride because they will always, always tell you the truth of what you need to know, do, or change in order to be in your highest alignment with God or Source. This full moon is also a supermoon, meaning that the moon is at its closest proximity to the Earth at this time. Supermoons give us heightened feelings and they can also lend to a heightened intensity to the full moon energy. So if you are extra sensitive, this can be a wonderful time to retreat into the quiet and stillness of nature or into your inner world through meditation or perhaps extra sleep. Another aspect of the emotional energy that is coming up with this full supermoon in Aries is a great deal of passion. Aries tends to bring the inner warrior out of us, and you may have some strong feelings that will arise in response. Your inner freedom fighter or rebel might be on high alert, so again, this can be a very good thing because strong emotions equate to strong opportunity for self-discovery. So again, listen to the feelings that come up and get to know yourself better. Let's go ahead and go to our cards now and get some further guidance for our full moon. Today I'm working with the Magical Messages from the Fairies Cards by Doreen Virtue, and I thought it would be fun to work with the Fairies Cards because October is a time that we experience the veil being a little bit thinner than it is usually between the 
human world and the world of spirit, including the elementals, including the fairies. Um, I also thought this would just be such a fun theme to work with because um, pretty soon on October 20th, I am going to be doing a live podcast on earth-based spirituality, elementals, and shamanism. Um, so I really hope that you will join me for that. That will be so much fun. You can tune in live at projectwingedolife.com slash radio. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Um, and it'll also be available on rebroadcast or for download on iTunes, um, on Spreaker, and a couple of other different places. Again, I'll leave all the um, info for that in the description below if you're interested in checking out that. Um, um, but for today, let's go ahead and connect with the fairies, with the elementals right now. I love connecting with the nature spirits. I think that they really have a lot to offer us and a lot to teach us. So uh, as I'm doing right now, I'm just going ahead and shuffling as we always do. And I stop when intuitively I feel that we have reached the card that we are meant to have for the guidance today. So I've got our three cards. And we're just going to go ahead and begin by turning over our first card for today. Ah, the first card is your desire is within reach. Your desire is within reach. This is a card that to me really reflects that Aries ambition that is coming forward in this moon cycle that we're experiencing. It te it's telling us that you're receiving the inspirations, the insight, and the passion about going about and completing your current goals right now for a reason. We're given passion, we're given strong insights and inspirations to do things because they're part of our path. They are perhaps the answers to the prayers that we've been having lately about our goals and about our life purpose. So listen to the big ideas and inspirations that you have and know that this is a sign that they are meant to come into fruition. You are meant to receive um, the fruition of the goals that you are focusing on right now. Have faith in that um, and really, really trust that. Let's see what our second card tells us. Oh, the second card tells us, whom do you need to forgive? Whom do you need to forgive? Once again, I'm just so um, floored by how uh, uncannily these cards are reflecting everything that astrology has told us and the angels have told us as well um, about this time. Um, because remember, our theme is all about the path to getting to our desires, our goals, or ambitions. Um, and that path is full of, 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 of adventure and journeying and lessons and challenges and all sorts of different things like that. Um, the lesson that is being brought forward with the message in this particular card is whom do you need to forgive? Meaning you will lighten your load on the path forward. You will make it easier. You'll get to your goal more, um, more powerfully and with an arrival of, of more strength and purity when you do so with a heart that has forgiven, has forgiven any attachments to um, negativity or fear um, or unresolved hurts um, or blocks with regard to other people in your life or even forgiveness that needs to occur um, towards the world as a whole. So many people hold on to um, blocks or fears um, of unforgiveness towards the world in terms of global affairs when we see, for example, unrest or violence or, or other things like this going on. Um, and the angels and the elementals today are telling us, forgive. Allow yourself to see the world through the eyes of forgiveness. And in truth, you're seeing the eyes, the world through the eyes of God, through the eyes of spirit. You're seeing the world, um, in other words, in a very unlimited state, if you're able to see it through the eyes of forgiveness. Because unforgiveness, when we hold a grudge, when we hold on to fear or negativity, it narrows our view. It is constricting stress. You can think about it as a tense, constricting sort of thing, and it narrows our perspective so that we're just starting to attract and see more and more examples of, of what there may be that is upsetting us um, out in the world. But when you forgive, 
you liberate yourself. You cast off um, the shackles of any tension or any um, blinders that you may have up on your perspective and you're able to see um, solutions that you may have never known existed in front of you before. And you also may find that you have more energy and power to achieve the things that you want to do than ever before because, again, you're letting go of burdens. It's like letting go of the thing that you've been carrying around and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I've got all this strength and energy, um, more than I ever knew what, that I n knew that I had um, to do this now that you are free of any unforgiveness. So unforgiveness um, is something that, that can mean night, a night and day difference in terms of what we're looking to manifest. And particularly, one particular message that I'm hearing from the fairies, from the elementals today, as I'm just tuning into them, um, is the message that it can be very, very powerful to forgive the world in terms of any hurt or worry that you may be holding for the world in terms of the environment. So many people that I've connected with and come across with in my work as a spiritual healer and teacher have been holding on to um, worry or even grief over different environmental issues that face us um, as a species in this day and age. And forgiving those issues doesn't necessarily mean that it's okay that, for example, there have been nuclear spills or um, oil spills or other, other you know, issues like that. Um, it simply means that we're willing to let go of the hurt or the fear that may personally be weighing on us so that we are completely crystal clear and connect can connect right in with spirit and with the spirit or consciousness of the earth so that we can hear the answers and solutions that she's giving us so that we can feel the support that she is giving us that really, really will offer us the strength to change things around for the good. And that goes for all areas of your life. Forgive and you will see the light of the way forward. Let's go ahead and see what our final card for today is. Love life. Ooh, that's kind of an unexpected, exciting thing. Love life. So this is a card that tells us that relationships will be taking a center focus during this particular moon cycle. As I said before, this is a time in which there is a lot of heightened emotion and passion coming to the forefront. So don't be surprised if you might see some changes um, in, your, in your love life or in relationships in general in your life as you go forward. Because again, as we said, heightened emotions creates heightened self-discovery. And that goes for relationships as well. You may discover new um, feelings or states of being um, in your relationships as a result of the heightened passion and the heightened emotion. Um, this is also a time in which we are given an, an extra sense of being very driven <laughs> at this time in our lives. So you may feel um, an extra impetus of, of energy behind speaking your heart or your mind um, in your love life. And that is good. Do so. Communicate. Again, this is all about listening to the strong passions, ambitions, or feelings or insights that you're getting. And then doing whatever you feel guided to to act upon them to bring these changes about. Another message that I'm hearing, piping in from our elementals and fairies, I'm so glad they're here with us, um, is a message about loving life or the love of life itself. Um, the fairies are reminding us to play, to have fun, and to enjoy our lives during this time because that is one of the best solutions that we can offer a world that seems to be in a state of inordinate, inordinate fear or turbulence during this time, especially with what we're seeing going on in a socio-economical, um, political sort of uh, the, uh, mindset. So play, enjoy, um, have faith, have hope, generate laughter and, um, and happiness as a, as a direct response to any fear that may be going on in the world. Um, this will truly, truly lighten um, the world in a collective sense, as well as, of course, 
lighten you. Um, it will help to release and clear away any worries or, or fears that you may personally be feeling as you um, move forward on your path towards your goals or your ambitions. Balance your life with play and joy and that will feel so wonderful. I'm also hearing the fairies and elementals guiding us to take a little bit of time to spend outdoors during this time. That can also be such an incredible way to let go of the burden of fear or unforgiveness um, or stress that may, we may be holding on to by connecting in with the, the power and the wisdom of nature. Nature is always connected to the universe at large, to the flow of source. And when we connect with nature, we also begin to consciously and unconsciously begin to flow um, with, with, with the flow of the universe, with the flow of source. That is so incredibly powerful because it really what it does is give us a reality check, <laughs> um, a reality check um, in which we're connecting with harmony, with the rhythms and cycles um, of, of the universe and of nature that are always flowing with a sense of harmony with the divine. Feel that and connect with that and you'll be connecting with some real powerful support, guidance, and maybe even answers as to what to do going forward on your path. All right, so those are our messages today from the angels, from the stars, <laughs> and from the fairies. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more angel messages, spiritual guidance, and for um, discussion. I will also be leaving links to uh, Twitter and Facebook in the description below, as of course um, with links to my podcast if you'd like to keep in touch with me until the next video. And of course, if you would like your own spiritual healing session or angel reading with me, you can visit my website at www.seraphim.com for more information on how to contact me for that. Until next time, know that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!